Welcome to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX and online at MyWithersRadio.com featuring the Waltonville Spartans, Weber Township Trojans, and Woodlawn Cardinals. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body, Newell Furniture, and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And by Coach House Garages, Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. State Farm agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. With the Coach House Garage's pregame show, the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase starts now. And good evening from Odin High School. The second annual Coaches vs. Cancer Shootout. Chris Jubal with Jeff Crow alongside. It's your Coach House Garage's pregame show. Danny Zawinski is on assignment. If you're in need of a garage, protect your car, or prize possessions, Coach House Garages has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. That's 244 244- one zero six one. Tonight, the Waltonville Spartans in action. This headlining event at the Coaches versus Cancer Shootout against the Christ Our Rock Lutheran High School Silver Stallions. Say that three times fast. Tonight, the Spartans look for their first win on the year, coming in 0 six after a tough loss to the Woodlawn Cardinals on Tuesday night. Meanwhile, the Christ Our Rock Lutheran Silver Stallions come in six and three on the year. They are undefeated, three and zero in the East. Eastern Illini, Egyptian Illini Conference, rather, Egyptian Illini. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to research that conference. There are three losses on the year to Cowden, Herrick, Wayne City, and North Clay. So teams very familiar to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. We'll talk more about that, though, throughout the evening. Jeff, this is a big event here at Owen High School. Obviously, the benefits go to the Coaches versus Cancer Organization, trying to find an ailment or a cure for cancer, however. And uh, they do a lot of fundraising here tonight. And... Yeah, we have a lot of great prizes as well, including cardinal tickets and things of that nature. Oh, yeah, it's always great when you can put something together to help out the fight for cancer because uh, you, you see all the other benefits that go on around the around the world to help fight this uh, tough battle these people are going through. They had this, some of the cancer survivors that they had here walk out on the floor earlier, and it's, you know, it's good to see those. But for so many of those who have fought cancer and is, are winning the battle, there's other ones who are really struggling toward so every little bit helps, and yeah, they had some great prizes, uh, great raffles to hand out, and uh, like you said, some box tickets to a Cardinal game. So it was a great, great fundraiser for people with cancer. That it is, and we will talk more about this event. What? <laughs> Been a while since I've done a showcase part of play. We have the Waltonville Spartans and the Christ Our Rock Silver Stallions coming up. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. A coach house garage is money well spent On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments Don't cut corners on your garage, it adds value to your home That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs Or they'll build one to your design For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon Or go online to coachhousegarages.com More than just a garage More than just a garage It's a Coach House whether you're an Integra customer needing a new home or just tired of the constant changes associated with big corporate banking, you do have a choice. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. We built our business around one goal, your needs. With five locations and a team of your friends and neighbors to support you, your banking solutions are handled right here at home. And to make your move easy, we have new account specials and personal bankers ready to help. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. And welcome back to Oden High School's the second annual Coaches vs. Cancer Shootout Classic tonight with the Walton Hill Spartans meet up against the Christ Hour Rock Lutheran High School Silver Stallions. Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow alongside. Danny Zerwinski on assignment at Centralia as he's going in for Ryan Roddy, who is on assignment somewhere else. So we have a broadcaster... But say, I guess you could say, is we are all everywhere, spread out across the region tonight, with a lot of games going on across your radio dial tonight. Waltonville Spartans 0-6 on the air looking for their first win. You have to wonder how this matchup may fare out. The Silver Stallions much improved this year, featuring the likes of Tyler Burmeister, 6-3, and 3-0 in the Egyptian Illini Conference. However, 
When you take a look at some of the teams in that Egyptian Illini Conference, Calvin Herrick comes to mind, Katoka comes to mind, the Ramsey Rams are a team that come to mind. You have to think that given the independent schedule the Spartans play, teams like Oakville will be on the schedule this year and whatnot, that they have a chance to win this one tonight. Yeah, a very good chance. You know, they come out, this is a team who started out, when they first started the school over there, just off Shattuck Road there at, at Centralia. I mean, they started out, took some of their lumps, but now things have pretty well come together, and all their sports are starting to be very, very, very competitive. We've seen that with volleyball. We've seen it with their girls' sports and also with the girls' basketball and also with the boys' basketball. Chrysler Rock has really uh, turned things around and become a force. Uh, you know, they get kids from, you know, a lot of some of these kids are from Centralia, different areas they come from, and all in all, just great athletes, and uh, what a great job that their head coach, Mike Schaefer, has done over there for Christar Rock. And as you said, Chris, some of the schools they've played, you know, they've beaten teams like Mulberry Grove, as you said earlier, got beat by Wayne City, of course, but they beat Ramsey and uh, playing North Clay. Those teams are tough, and they come out and played them close. So this ought to be a very, very good game. And uh, like I said, this should favor the Crosshair Rock Lutheran. But on the other hand, the way Walkville we'll played against Woodlawn the other night, if they come out and play with the intensity they had against Woodlawn, Waltonville we'll may be looking at their first victory tonight. We shall see here on the Coach House Garages pregame show. If you're looking for a garage builder that will build a quality garage at a fair price with a five-year rent warranty and financing available, then a Coach House Garage is for you. Tell Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. We'll take a break, come back, analyze this one. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Warm up to the holiday savings at Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Newell Furniture has new Lazy Boy recliners, slide rockers, TV consoles, Paula Bean, and more. All holiday sale price with free financing available. Plus, buy one, get one half price on all your favorites at the General Store. Merry Christmas from Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Newell's is everyone's favorite Santa. Save some green with a free checking account from People's National Bank. A free checking account from People's National Bank comes with a free Visa check card, free online banking, free bill pay, and unlimited check writing. Save time, stamps, and the hassle with a free checking account from People's National Bank. Stop by either of our two locations in Mount Vernon today for details on how you can make your money bloom with a free checking account from People's National Bank. People's National Bank. Member FDIC, Visa check card, and bill pay. Non-usage fees may apply. Sester Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. When an emergency happens, time is everything, and you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit crossroadscommunityhospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. More basketball action ahead. Presented by Community First Bank. And welcome back to Oden High School Second Annual Coaches versus Cancer Shootout. The Waltonville Spartans and the Purple Star Rock Silver Stallions. Chris Duco with Jeff Crow alongside on your Coach House Garages pregame. If you're in need of a garage to protect your car or prize possessions, Coach House Garages has the building for you. Tell Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on a site estimate. We have to slip in a scoreboard update presented by your state farm agent, Scott Owens. In girls' action day, such Valier Waltonville, the Red Devils played at WHS Gymnasium, beating Hamilton County 42-33. You heard that game on AM 940 today. Danny Zerwinski had the call. Also in girls' basketball, they can hope you to pitch in triumph 49-47, coming from behind to win that one. Girls' basketball action day at the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament, Sisney defeats Clay City 62-37. It was Crab Orchard, 82-40 winners over Grayville. Edwards County defeats the ZR Tornadoes, 73-58. Host Wayne City defeats Thompsonville, 43-24. 
first annual Saluki shootout at the SIU Arena in Carbondale. The Carbondale Lady Terriers defeat the Marion Lady Wildcats 57-27. The Marion Wildcats defeat the Carbondale Terriers 59-55 in the South 7th Conference game. Nashville Hornets defeat Fenton, the Ranger X, 55-24. It was Waterloo Jabot over Nashville 53-43. And Pennyville defeats Monticello tonight in the evening session 55-44. Still Oakville, Trikill, and Harrisburg Free Central to go in that shootout down there at the SIU Arena. Here at Odin, meanwhile, it's been a shootout all day. J- junior high action, JV girls, varsity girls, North Walmack, Irvington, Coach by Centralia, former Centralia orphan Kyle Walker, defeats Odin Junior High, 35-36. In game number two, the Sandoval Junior Varsity team, girls, defeat Christ Our Rock Luther, 27-20. It was Sandoval's girls also handing Christ Our Rock the loss, 53-50. Ramsey and boys of course in the action defeat Bowden 60-46. And in the game prior to this one, Miss Metro East Lutheran 66, Patoka 42. So Lutheran's going to dominate here tonight on the boys' side of the gender. That scoreboard update was presented by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. They're dedicated to helping you get the right coverage with the discounts you deserve. Give Scott Owens a call at 242-3770. Like a good neighbor, State Farm. Uh, that's such a big scoreboard up there. We weren't left with much else to talk about here in your coach house. I just pregame. That is okay. Because we're going to take a break, come back to People's National Bank starting lineups. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for. So WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Hey, this is Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches. Located at 418 East Main Street, a half a block from the Benton High School, our hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 6 and Saturday 10 to 3. We provide custom screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, vehicle lettering, vehicle wraps. If you want it printed on, we probably do it. Hey, this is Coach Aaron. You're the big man. Big Dave, a call at All Stars and Stitches, 435-555-555. By the way, what was that phone number again? 435-555-555. Are you dog tired of hunting for the right bank? People's National Bank is positive. We have all the banking services you're searching for. You'll be sitting pretty when you hear about all of the convenient services People's National Bank has to offer. Looking for a place to bury your bone? We have safety deposit boxes too. Stop by 413 South 34th Street or 522 Main Street in Mount Vernon to start barking. I mean banking with the best bank in Jefferson County. People's National Bank, member FDIC, Equal Housing. Car Bank. insurance with personal service at no extra charge? What a novel concept. That's why State Farm is a leader in providing insurance and financial services and remain strong in this economy. At State Farm, Scott Owens is dedicated to helping you get the coverage that's right for you and the discounts you deserve. No one takes care of you like State Farm. Scott Owens will prove it. Call Scott at 242-3770. That's 242-3770. Like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Community First Bank. And they slipped in the National Anthem on us. We honored America here from Odin High School. Started the second annual Coaches vs. Cancer Shootout. Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow alongside for the Waltonville Spartans and Christ Our Rock Silver Stallions. Danny Swinski is on assignment tonight. Time now to meet your People's National Bank starting lineups here on your Coach House Dodgers pregame. Stop by at People's National Bank and let them remind you what banking with a local family owned bank is all about. This is a branch near you. Or log on to peoplesnationalbank.com, People's National Bank. Member at the AC, Equal Housing Lender. Jeff, first let's meet the visitors on the scoreboard. And Nate, let's make that the home team on the scoreboard. The Christ Out Rock Silver Stallions. Okay, Chris. We'll start off with the Silver Stallions. We'll start off with being number 10. And Christian Turner, number 12. Ben Mashoff. Number 20, Tyler Burmester. Number 24, Kyle Hahn. And number 25, Hayden Clockinger. Clockinger, excuse me. 
as I mispronounced it, there, coached by Mike Schaefer. Of course, People's National Bank brings you to the starting line of tonight. Just how many branches does People's have? Log on to peoplesnationalbank.com to find a branch near you. Over 100 years old and still growing, People's National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Let's see Chad Harper's Waltonville Spartans. Okay, now for the Waltonville Spartans. Starting off will be number 22, Jake Phillips. And number 34, Levi Rapp. Number 25, Jordan Hale. Number 24, Trey Widges. And number 23, Matt Watt, Matt Rogers. And Waltonville's coach by Chad Harper, and assisted by Anthony Lowry. Official score tonight's contest will be Jay Miller and Bob Smith of Centralia, Brent Garrison of Woodlawn. Yes, Brent Garrison of Woodlawn on a Waltonville game tonight. Here against the Christ Star Rock Silver Stallion. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. But, you know, we're here at Odin, and the Rock is love here at Odin. For a good cause, they're all donning the pink whistles for this coaches versus cancer shootout. And people who may not know, I'm just giving Brick Garrison a bit of grief. But we're about ready to get started. Of course, the Spartans will be in their away red tonight with white new merch trimmed in blue. Bob Smith will be the official in front of us here, so we'll be careful about what we say about Bob. Oh, Taylor, oh, Bob, he's, uh, he's, well, rather, he's rather stout, he's rather stealthy looking. We don't get to see Bob Smith very often, but there he is. We're about ready to go. Of course, the Crenshaw Rock Silver Stallions will be in their home mice with silver numerics trim in red, and then stallion-like print in navy blue down the side. I yeah, love the font on the back side of the yard. Uh, love Bob Smith, too. That's three S. That's right. How's as I as create? How's collecting uh, gum wrappers from Mr. Smith? It's good times. Jordan Hale will jump for the Spartans. They'll go far to near. The Silver Stallions will go near to far. It's on the stage here at Oak. Kyle Hahn will jump for the Silver Stallions. Who will control the tip? Will be thrown up by Jay Miller again of Detroit. And here we go. Controlled by Snow. Controlled by Christian Turner and the Christ Star Rock Silver Stallions. In the front court between the circles, throws over the right side, finds Mashaw. Ross over dribble, working against Mathers. That's no, this Trey Witches. And to the right wing goes Mashtop. Looks to the left side, stops in the circle, turns off right side for Hahn. Hahn gives back to Turner. Coming around the right wing, looking in the corner for blocking game. Nothing there. Now Mashtop for three left side. Rebound underneath. Coming up this Jordan Hale. Good play by the Spartans. That will be a jump ball. And it'll go right back with the Spartans here. 7.33 to play in the first. No score yet between these two teams. Here's the number of credit scores, Community First Bank of the Heartland. You're a person or business with needs. And through the good and the bad, Community First Bank will stand by you. Maverick brings it up across the timeline, throws over to the right wing, finds Phillips. Back up top, wrap, looking inside for Hale. Turn around, will follow left side. Almost a great rebound there by Rogers. will come away with the stallion. Firm that's with him. Across the timeline, throws right side. Nearly took out of bounds. It was to remain with Christ Star Rock. With 11 to play in the first, still no score. There was things running back and forth there early. Uh, you can tell it's a little rusty here trying to keep staff. <laughs> what I can do is keep up with it. So lost as I've done a showcase game from this team. So we'll see what happens. Back shot with it up top. Throws to the right wing for Burmester. Looks down right baseline. Here comes a 16-footer. It's good. From Hayden Foxgay. And here come the Silver Stallions up to love. 6.53 to play on the first Spartan basketball. Trey Wages, I'll try my darnest not to call Skyler. I think that's the last time I've done a ball still play by play. Up top, Hale. Pulls up for three. Nobody on him. It's good. The Spartans with a 3 2 lead. With 640 to play in the first. You gotta watch Burton Hale. You leave him open to the top key like that. He'll shoot that all night. That's a lot of highlights on our game Tuesday night between Waltonville and LeBron. Highlights still uploaded to our YouTube channel. Of course, you can find it on our Facebook, WMIX Sports. As Christ, our rock will throw it away as it's going to go far corner for number 20, Tyler Burmester. It'll be Spartan basketball off the turnover. 6 six to go in the first, 3-2. Spartans on top trying to add to this. We're glad to have you with us on WMIX online tonight at BuyWithersRadio.com. Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow, Manny Zerwinski, the Waltonville alum, Woodlaw teacher, is on the side. Hale throws over the right side, finds Rogers. They're on the wing. Look at down low baseline for Maverick. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Cross the Rock. Good call by Jay Miller on the sideline. Rogers did not touch that whatsoever. Went for the slide. Came up empty. Veteran officiating crew tonight for the Southern Illinois basketball officials. So take a quick hand off to Maverick. you will go off black. Won't get the bounce. But Trey Wedges is going to the line to shoot two on the first foul of the game. Comes the 6:06 mark. And Wedges has a chance to add two more to the Spartan lead. And that foul is going to be on number 23, 
Florida Hagen who entered the ball game took his first foul. Wages at the line shooting his first. Off back iron, he'll get another. Walton Mills traditionally a program that shoots about 70, 75 percent from the charity strike. And we've seen him at Woodlong Chris. So I don't think they could uh could miss the free throw. Nobody was missing anything at Woodlawn until Danny and I brought it up, and then nobody made a free throw. 4-2, and Maverick knocks down the second at two. 6-0-4 to play in the first. 50% clip this time for the Spartans from the charity strap. Over on the right side, Christian Turner with it for the Stallions. Looking around, trying to find oh, Great man defense for the Spartans. That's small kicks over right baseline. Here comes a runner. Yeah, that looks to be Ward Aiken again. He comes up short, but it looks like there's a foul on the play. That'll be the first for the Spartans. First personal. As we wait for the scoreboard to catch up, looks like that might have been on Jordan Hale. Yep, that was on Jordan Hale. Caught him as he went up for the shot. This one's on the line shoot. Two. Makes the first. Back within one. Four to be Spartans. 5.50 to play in the opening quarter. Glad to have you with us again on WMIX. Saw him on at MindWithersRadio.com. Spartans looks for their first win on the year. This would be the perfect time to do it. A nice little showcase in front of the folks here at Oak. Nice little contingent from Waltonville's made the track. They have the Mafia in full force. Aiken misses the second, which probably made one. He made the first one. So it should be, by my count, 4-3. to 5.43 to play in the first. There it is. Scoreboard catches up. Widget throws off left side down low. It's for Hale. Great pass by Phillips in the lane to shut off. This gets back from Widget from the baseline. Great post play there by the Spartans as Phillips came out of nowhere to try to get the left block. He'll go to the line to shoot two on the second team foul for the Giants. And he gets hammered by Kyle Hahn as he goes up for a shot, made a nice little drive in, went up strong, and just caught a lot of Hahn who was moved, got caught for the blocking foul. First free throw, no good. I shouldn't have said anything about the free throw percentage. Yeah, it was doing pretty good. I said something and uh, marked that one on me. Trey made that. Next one coming, no good. Yikes, and the rebound, kicked out of bounds by, it looks like Rogers got a piece of it, so length of four to go here, side out of bounds for the Stallions. 5.32 to play in the first, still 4-3, Spartans on top. Then Ashoff will bring it up for the Stallions, what's the left side, great pass over there, hard numbers to see, that looks like Egan, he'll drive, looks like he might have walked the basketball, but a foul before that. And Bob Smith will walk it over the scores table, that'll be the second team foul for Spartans. That was on number 34, Levi Rath. That was going to be the second team foul. First foul on Levi. Mashoff ready to take the pass on the inbound. Great play by Wiggins to knock it out. And Christ, our rock will have to reset the front court. Side out of bounds, left side. It'll be Mashoff again. He is able to find Turner. Back to Mashoff, right-hand dribble near the circle. Left side, 5.15 to play in the quarter. 4-3, Spartans on top. Throws it over to the right. Able to find Agent again. Right in the circle, throws left side. Looking for clocking day. He gets to the free throw line, walks for the basketball. And so another turnover for the Stallions, and they'll get it right back to Walt. The 505 mark of the first. Still one full game, 4 3, southwestern Jefferson County. Very good man to man defense put on there by Waltville, caused a turnover as he looked to throw it into somebody. Hurriedly, the guy who was the got covered. Nowhere to go, so he drug that foot. Widges brings it across far corner into the timeline. 4.55 to play in the quarter. Looking to come up. Shakes it out to ref. Back up top. Jake Phillips will drive. Nice move by Phillips. It's blocked out of bounds, however. By Hahn, it'll remain with the Spartans. Phillips went up strong again on that. Took a little bit of contact. But it was sort of went up out of control, so therefore no call. Trigger will come in the hail far sideline. Works it up to Phillips. He's coming around with right hand dribble. Show that far side. Back in the lane. Hail. Kicks over to Wedges left wing. 441 to play in the first. Fourth for B is a Spartan lead. As they are swinging at this one point lead. Hale with it up top. Looking around, coming with a right hand dribble. To the elbow kicks out. Here comes Rogers. Tap will steal that away. And now Mashoff dribbles out this out of bounds. So tip for cat on the turnover. The DC would say, What you can do worse, we can do worse better. And the Spartans retain possession. We just read my mind. That came to my mind as soon as that happened, and uh, I thought. Thank you for pulling that one out. I've been known to rip other people off from time to time. That was one of those instances. Yeah. The inbound is intended for Guy Lair to go out of bounds. Turnover spark. With locations tonight at Dick's Woodlawn and two branches in Mount Vernon, Community First Bank of the Heartland is proud to be the official voice of the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember, FDIC. 30-second timeout here called 
427 to play in the first quarter. Still 4-3 Spartans, and I, I think after that turnover on the inbound, Chad Harper wanted to talk it over with us. Yeah, he just didn't like to leave things a little because that ball was taken out, and going out there, nobody could get to it. It went out of bounds. Now it's going to be Silver Stallions basketball. Chad Harper, very, very good coach. We've seen a lot of that, and we'll bring up the Woodland game because that's the first time I've seen him for this season. And I've seen what kind of adjustments he's been able to make. And right now, Waltonville's defense is doing very good. Just need to work in their offense just a bit. I'm not sure Chad Harper's got that one remedied right now. It'll be Cy out of bounds, far sideline here for the Stallions. Then the mash off, he'll bring it up. 425 to play, first quarter. Glad to have you with us here on WMIX, Mount Vernon, Marion Eppingham. A free service from with us broadcast. Mashoff gets it across, finally right side, works it over to Christian Turner. Left hand dribble, he'll bring it across, that'll be a tic tac foul on Levi Larry. Yep. That'll be our team's third. There's first. Yeah, Larry got a little bit of handsy on that little hand check foul call. Mashoff with it in the backcourt off of the inbound in front of the scorer's table. What's it left side? Able to find Burmaster. Tyler kicks back out to the top, finds Turner. We'll drop below the four-minute mark on this possession for the Stallions. They trail 4-3. Left-hand dribble. Turner's going to dive against Laird. Throws up a locker and gets it off the window. It's 5-4. Literally, that was one of those shots that you almost couldn't buy anywhere else. Go to the floor and threw it up with one hand and able to roll it in. And that's the Stallion lead 5-4. Near block. mid post. Here comes. A Maverick comes through at 6-5. As Trey Wages gets the easy bucket, 6-5. Spartans back by one, 335 to go in this first quarter. Oh, doing the Maverick nickname. Yeah. Because I'm trying not to call him Skyler. It threw me off because I couldn't figure out who you called call him that <laughs> until just then. He became Maverick by default because Skyler was ice man. Okay. So we kept it true with the top gun nickname. That makes sense. Coming around from the far side, here's Rogers off block, clock out of bounds. No, great save there by the Stallions to block on. He'll be Turner bringing it up, looking for the crossover, trying to split the defense. And that could either have been a walker or a foul, so Brent Garrison will compromise and call the jump ball. Possession arrows looks like it's in favor of Christ Car Rob. They should be Italian basketball underneath their own basket. Who will be your Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game? Stay tuned for the player of the game presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's the hospital. It's what healthcare should be. Clark and Gay gallops on in. The Back on the floor again. He's a little bit of rest, but up top with it is Burmester for three. Off the mark, left iron. No good. Rebound will go to turn right wing. Less than three to play in the first. Five Spartans. In the right corner, clock and get. It goes back to Turner near the sideline, and he'll pull between the circles. Left side, 2 to play in the first. It's a one-point ball game. On with it, left side. Looks up top. He's to find number 23, Hagen. And we have a whistle before the shot. Jay Miller with the call. That should be on number 34, Levi Rapp, but that's going to be his second. He gets called with the blocking foul. Phillips will come in for Rapp. He'll take a bit of a rest here with two fouls. 14 foul on the Spartans. A 2.44 to play in the first. Right the basket. It'll be Silver Stallion basketball. Hahn will trigger. Box play here for the Stallions. And the Burmaster looks at the turnaround. No, excuse me. Clockett Gay picks up two more. On the turnaround mid post, it's 7-6. And the teeter totter in full effect. Silver Stallions back on top. Parking Gay now has four points, Chris. Big night for him early on. Hale is it up top. Wages comes around from the underneath. Looks back towards the bottom of the ball game. Instead, gives to Hale. He'll pull up in the lane. Jordan Hale comes up big again. Eight seven. Parking back on top. Five points for Jordan as he nice dribble in a little floater he puts in. Say, well, this kid is sweet on shooting. Number 20, Tyler Burmester almost had his pocket picked by Levi Laird. Instead, that's going to be a reach on Laird, Dean Smith. But Levi Laird. Laird. Yeah. What a good call. Stats right off the top of your head, as always. I try. Freak of nature sometimes. Freak, I agree. Yep. 2-11 to play in the first. 8-7 is the Spartan lead hanging on, but they'll have to defend on this possession. And a side out of bounds will come for the Stallion. In down to Turner, left side. Got away with the push off, kicks over to the sideline. And now to be clocking gay, looking for the lean in. Got it as he leaned. No, hit the back iron. So I get for a soon. He has a sweet touch. Rebound with the widgets. Here comes the Spartans. 155 to play in the first. They have seven Waltonville on top. At the circle, it's Trey Widges with the basketball working against Tyler Burmester. Goes over right side for Hale. Has his pocket pick on the staff by Clocking Gay. He's stuck in the corner. Gives it to Turner. Left hand dribble. Try to work. For that left wing. Ooh. Play there by Phil trying to deter the offense. Now on for a rainbow shot. No good. Rebound Tom. 
had to stroll away, but a great return by Booza. He'll let numbers catch up here. He had a potential break, but speed was going to get to him. Here comes Widges up this near side, off the block, no good. Got his own rebound, put back, back door. Yes. It looked like it was going to go for a second. Looks like it was going to rim out. Now it's 10-7, Spartans up three. Waves very strong underneath, puts your shot up, not going to make it, grab your rebound and finish it off. Hagan with the basketball left side. A minute to play in the first. 10-7 Spartans. Now back to Burmaster. Kicks back out. Wide open three coming left side. Hagan in and out. No good. Rebound to Hale. Another big defensive board for Waltonville. And that'll be a reach foul probably on Tyler Burmaster. Should be the team's third. Should be his first, I believe. Yep, it'll be his first. Assuming that I'm right. I may not be. We may disagree. We'll see what they say as soon as they get the scoreboard taken care of. Timeout will be Christ on Rock here with 58 seconds to play in the first. Foul will actually be the first part of me on Hayden Pocket Jay. 10 7 is your Spartan lead here. 58 seconds to play in the first quarter. Locations 9 and 6 whip on in two branches in Mount Smith. Community First Bank of the Heartland is proud to be the official voice of Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. Welcome back to First Banking Member at the IC. Chris Hugo with Jeff Pro, Danny Zorensky on assignment. And the Walton Mills, it's a three point lead here on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase looking for win number one. And what a big win it would be here on a neutral court. Yeah, both teams right now struggle a little bit on offense. Can't really get anything get going strong on the offensive side. Defense is looking pretty good. You know, so far we've had between these two teams a combined seven turnovers, four of them, four crossed our Rock Lutheran. So, like I said, now if I just get the uh, offense taken care of, see what this game may turn into uh, a little more interesting. Wages will bring it across the timeline. Key to play. Over to Phillips on the right wing. Looks around, finds who's up top. Now Austin Zop going to try to bring a baseline. Nice move to the basket. Austin Zop will oh, get the bucket, though. Just rattles off the rim. Rebound to Aiken, and here comes the stallion. 37 seconds to play in the first. 10-7 is your Walton to lead. That's corner. It's Turner near the timeline. Half minute to play. Rolls to the surface. Now kicks back left side between the legs. Man defense from the Spartans. Back over right side. Hong gets back to the near. That'll be Burmester with it. Up to the circle in 20 seconds to play in the first. Three-point ball game. Spartans lead. It's in seven. Back to the circle. Burmester. Right of the circle for Turner. Nine seconds to play. Back over the sideline. There is number 23A, and he's looking to drive. Shut off at five. Kicks to the right elbow. Talking game on the turnaround with one second. Nice tip by Turner. No good at the buzzer. And that is your first quarter score. The Waltonville Spartans 10. The Christ Tower Rock Lutheran High School Silver Stallion 7. This is Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. When you want the best, think the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. The Orthopedic Center has the unique distinction of being one of only two non-academic accredited orthopedic teaching and research facilities in the state of Illinois. Our goal in education is to inspire the next generation of orthopedic surgeons. Patient care, education, and research are our core strengths. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive, Mount Vernon, and St. Mary's Good Samaritans in Troya Campus. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. Hi, Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. With five locations in Jefferson County, a seven-month .77% APY CD special, free checking, free Internet banking, and free debit cards tied to local schools, isn't now the perfect time to move your banking relationship to a local community bank? No gimmicks, just your neighbors and friends taking care of your banking needs. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at 94Sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX. And welcome back to Oden High School, the heart of Marion County. It'll be Widges off of the end of the left baseline. It's cool at 12-7. 7.47 to play in this first half. The Spartans have their largest lead at 5. 7 points now for Maverick. That's all I am. Having a great night, there's no doubt about that. And not sure what that was. Turnover on the Silver Stallion. Turner was looking to catch up with something near the score. Staple didn't work out. Spartans have the basketball. Let's see if they can get some more points on the Silver Stallion turnover. That's the fifth turnover here for Corliss. Carson Rock Lutheran. And only seven. It's barely into the third quarter. I thought it quarter. So, six left corner for Rogers. Inside for Zom. Zom trying to go up off the block. He's fouled. He'll get a trip to the free throw line. And trying to extend this 12 7 Spartan lead 30 seconds into the second quarter. Oh, wow. That's the oh, wow. Yeah. That's the old for Meister this time. Hey, there you go. I have to cross out that little tally mark. You can put it right back. I know your pay. Zom. Ooh, rims out on the first. It looked good from where we were. I was getting ready to call it good. Probably a good thing I did it. It should have been good. 
We'll see how he can play on the back end here. And he'll miss the second rebound. will be tipped away. Widget's trying to side court. Comes up with it. Great play by the Maverick. Mid-post runner. Won't be good. And that'll be an offensive player control. On Trey Widget. This will be Trey's first. Team's fourth turnover. I think right now Waltonville's defense is causing Crusher Rock a little bit of havoc. They can't get into the flow. It's just this man defense that Waltonville put on them. Three from Burmester on the way. It's good. Got it. It's 12-10. Back with it. Two of the Stallions. Seven minutes to play here in the half. Of course, we'll have your Run Lake College halftime show coming up. Left side, Rogers looks across the way. Far wing, out for Widges. Back up top to Phillips. Phillips, Booza, Sam, Wiz, and Rogers for the Spark. Back over to Booza, far side, gets to the wing. On the way, it's good by Phillips. He has an answer. Back up five for the Spark, 15 10. Jake Phillips is first points of the game. Left side, it is Turner. Looking at drive baseline. Not to kick out clocking game. We'll use the window. No good. Sam, another big rebound. And here come the Spartans. It's still up to the basketball. Where's number 22? Goes over to Booza for three. It's a minute three here in Oden. 18 10 is your Spartan lead. 6 10 to play. Booza's, I mean, Waltonville's starting to find the offensive strength now. A good defense, like you always hear Danny say, a good defense always turns around and prevent, I mean, helps good offense. There you go. On misses it from 18. No good rebound to go to the Spartans. Phillips will bring it up. 5.58 to play in the first half, 18-10. Inside, it'll go to Widges. Was looking to get his way up, and that'll get a jump ball. Possession arrow favors Christ out rock. The boys from Shattuck Road will have the length of Florida clear. 5.53 to go in the quarter, 18-10. It's an eight-point Spartan lead. Here on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, presented by Community First Bank, with more Jefferson County locations than anyone else. Locally owned with decisions made here, proud supporters of Jefferson County, with locations in Ina 6, Woodlawn, and Two Branch. In the King City. Left side, it's on with the basketball in the front court. Looks around, finds baseline for Mester. Up top, Turner for three. It's a uh, rainbow and it's no good. No point of gold there. And the rebound goes to Clock and Gates. Tipped out of bounds by Fuza. Great play defensively there by Patrick Fuza. And it'll be Stallion basketball. If I can make a horse sound, I would. <laughs> Quick inbound to Turner looking low. And there it's Clock and Gates again. He has it. I think. 18-12 is your score. It's a six-point lead for the Spartans. Five and a half to go here. Second quarter action. Left side, moves over the basketball on the wing. Looks up top, finds Phillips. He's looking at dribble drive. Kicks out to Rogers. Rogers. Looks back up top, able to find Phillips. Great play to the post. It's a kick out to Rogers now from Rapp. Three on the way. Won't get the Walton Bill bounce. Straight rebound there by Phillips. Looks back door. Rogers. Through contact, and Burmester will get the rebound. Up ahead from the Stallions to Turner. Most up jumpers, no good. Rebound goes to Hale. Jordan Hale, Patrick Booza. Booza will get it up to the near side. He'll walk with basketball. Turn over Spartans. But it's Hale, Graff, Phillips, Rogers, and Booza. So it's starters plus Booza. Looks like we're going to have Ben Mashup free into the ball game for Crosshair Rock Luther. Let's see if uh, Mr. Bashoff can uh, produce. We'll see if he can be progressive, family style. 18-12, your score left side will be in the corner. Looking around, finds Clock and Gay left double, looking at dribble drive, kicks back out. This will be Aga. Kicks out of bounds, turnover, Silver Sky, and we'll just come back in the ballgame for Booza. And so it's the starters out there for Chad Harper. I thought when they brought uh, Marshall in, they'd uh, feed him a little bit, see what he Done. We'll see what happens. Some threes. After one, the Benton Rangers pitching a shutout tonight over the West Franklin Redbirds, 19 nothing. That scoreboard update presented by Stone, or excuse me, Scott Owen. Left side, it is Rogers. Looks to Phillips. We're trying to find Maverick there in the paint. It's going to be broken up by Clock and Gay. He was looking for the alley oop. Nothing there for Kyle Hahn. It'll come back to the Spartans on yet another turnover there by Christ Our Rock. You know, what a great uh, deal down here by Christ Our Rock. Had a nice breakaway. But the pass is a little bit too high. That's something they've done here the past two, two times down the floor. Curtis just can't connect from the pass after a steal. Rogers will the far side. Looks to Hale. He'll pull up just outside the paint. His shot is good. Sometimes it's hard to pass with the nice touch that Jordan Hale has. Back to an eight-point lead. Spartans 20-12 midway through the second. Bash off with the left side. Get a little hot in here. Left corner three coming from Burmester. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Christ Our Rock. 
It'll be Spartan basketball. Scoreboard update tonight, every night on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, presented by Scott Owens and State Park. You might be paying too much for auto insurance. Give Scott Owens a call for a free discount double check. Like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Scott Owens is there. Left side, Hale with the basketball from the perimeter. We're going to throw it around here. It ends up with Rogers on the near side into Hale. Post up jumper's no good. Rebound goes to Christ Out Rock. That was Caleb Bainey. Now it comes to the right side. Hagan will throw it out of bounds. Turnover Silver Stallions. It'll go back with the Spartans, and that is probably. Well, that's a lot of turnovers on the Star Rock. That's going to be number eight for Chris Rock, Chris. Like you said, it's still this defense of Waltonville. They're causing a lot of havoc because it's man to man. And Carson Rock is not taking care of the basketball. Great officiate crew tonight. Jerry Bob and Brent Michael are their God given names. Better known as Jay Miller, Robert W. Smith, and Brent Harris. Nailing this one here from the Odin Coaches versus Kansas Shootout. 324 to play here in the first half. Spartans are going to swing it around. There was Halpern. Far wing looking across the court for Rogers. Looking inside that time. Great recovery by Laird. He'll fall. Rachel White is good. And Levi Laird gets in on the action. It's 22 12. The Spartans lead reaches double digits for the first time tonight. Right now, here with 304 left in the second quarter, Chris, things are looking good for the Waltonville Spartans. Left of the circle timeline. It was mash up. Looking at side for Clock and Gate. He'll kick out for a to left corner. Fane, three throws inside. Clock and Gate shot rims down. Rebound. Well, it'll be right back to Burmester. Clocking game. He'll spin around. Turner's three right wing. Air ball. It'll be out of bounds. Last test by the Spartans. And Mr. Rogers has the same reaction as a cornerback or a safety after an interception goes right through their arms. And we should have had that rebound. It'll be Silver Stallion basketball. Some of the attempts on a three right now for Crosshair Rock and only two completions. Yikes. Burmester has one, I remember. There's a rainbow shot. He gets it up top. Swings it inside. Clocking game is going to kick it out. Thrown by a counterpart wearing number 25. Hale Hilbert makes the floor. Left hand layup. Good. 24-12. The Spartans are going to run away with it here in the second quarter with 2.25 to go. Coral wants a timeout. I believe it's got the full variety here. Oh, we're doing the sleeve action now. The officials are finally on my page here. 2.25 to play in the first half. We'll run down some score updates here at the half. The show brought to you by Renlake College. Ridley College has been the vehicle to a brighter future for over 40 years. Students can choose from more than 100 degree and certificate programs. Save thousands of dollars at Rim Lake College and get to work. Lake College, it's time. 225 to go, first half, 24-12, your Spartan lead. Jeff Crow alongside, I'm Chris Hugo. Dave Zerwitz, he's a voice of the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, is on assignment tonight. What a first, or I should say, what a second quarter. Not necessarily just the first half, but what a second quarter for the Spartans. Starting to continue to build on to this lead. Now up 12 for March the ninth, and everybody has chipped in just about for Waltonville. Right now, Waltonville's out scored them 14 to 5, Chris. In the first quarter, the score was 10 to 7, Waltonville. Uh, like I said, Scott got down to the point where Waltonville's starting to find their offense. Russia Rock still, still struggling, still looking to see if trying to find somebody who can start leading the scoring for them. We approve that the officials want to get back to the action, so here we go. It's turn inbound to Mashoff. 2.21 to play in the half. Here comes Christ Our Rock. Ooh. Rough action. Mash off into Puza. He plays on. Left side, Turner looks around. Finds Mash off in the corner for Burmester. He'll drive. Had it tipped away by Wedges, but covered. And now, on a shot, it's no good from Christ Our Rock. You didn't see the player. Can't read the numbers. He was saying. Laird with the basketball. So it's the circle for Puza. Laird, Puza, Rogers. Thought I saw Wedges, and I see Mr. Hale. Inside the wits, nice turnaround in the lane, uses the glass, it's good, underhand layup. Off the reverse by Trey Widget, it's 26-12, Spartan Lee, 14. That's nine points now for Trey Widget. Inside, that is Faney again. Now Burmester's through on the way, and they're three of eight from behind the arc. 26-15, back within 11, as Trey start to rock with 90 to play in the half. Burmester, those decks, those shots he's put up, he's drawing rain here before long. They may. Hale with the far side. Beyond the arc, left inside. Five widgets. Gets the bucket again, uses the window, but it won't fall. Gets his own rebound after it's tipped away. Leans in, won't get it that time underneath. Gets his own rebound, six it back in the Maverick. Gets two more. 28-15. It's back up to a 13-point lead with 68 seconds to go. Starting to quiet down, and here's Turner. Took a few extra steps, but got the underhanded layup. 
And it's 28-17. The lead down to 11. Less than a minute to play here in the first half. The Sugar Case presented by Community First Bank. Come start a banking relationship. You won't be disappointed. Community First Bank, welcome back to First Bank. With locations at Ina, Dix, Woodlawn, and two at Mount Vernon. Far corner, tail looks up top to Booz. And it'll be stolen away by Turner with 38 seconds. Throws it ahead for Mashoff. Come up left side, takes the layup. Push, misses the shot. The shot would have been a rough one to get from about 15. And to the line will go Ben Mashoff on another foul on the start. Is that, see who that still be on? Is that going to be on Booza? Should be. It'll be on Booza, his first. Teams, seven. A big time scoreboard update coming your way in the RLC halftime. First free throw good for Mashoff. Some of the scores are going to be spelled for a break here before we go to the half of the, uh, looks like offensive defense. Let's see if the Spartans can make something happen here. Second one's no good. Big rebound by Hale. And with 32 seconds to go, here come the Spartans up 10, 28-18. It'll be Phillips with the basketball left of the circle. Goes to Rapp. Nice no though pass back near the circle for Phillips. Rapp with a good pass there. Now it's back to Rapp in front of the Chrysler Rock pitch. Dangerous pass to Phillips. Great save over his arm. Back to Phillips. Rock side of the circle. Kicks back to Rapp. One is Hale. Now one switches. Back to Hale. Far sideline with eight. Up top, Phillips. Kicks in the lane. Jumper. Rocks the ribbon ball. Great play there by Jordan Hale. With two at the timeline. Three points. It's no good by Chrysler Rock. So at the half, the Waltonville Sparks lead as well. It's 30-18 Waltonville. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Lincoln Dealer at Ford Square, Mount Vernon. When you shop for a luxury car, you'll notice that the luxury doesn't always come standard. The 2012 Lincoln MKZ, however, comes loaded. Heated and cooled front seats, standard. Sync technology, standard. Soft leather seating and genuine wood trim, standard. Reverse sensing system, standard. Isn't it nice to see that someone is putting standards back into luxury? And here's one more extra you won't pay extra for. Four-year or 50,000-mile complimentary maintenance, standard. Better yet, that's on top of your Lincoln dealer's most attractive offer on Lincoln MKZ. All that's left is a nice, long test drive, which, as you might have guessed, is complimentary as well. Lincoln, it's just not luxury, it's smarter than that. Come see us at Ford Square Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for, so WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Has your bank recently stopped offering free checking? Don't get burned by all the fees. Switch to People's National Bank today. People's National Bank's free checking includes a free Visa check card, free bill pay, and free online banking, as well as unlimited check writing. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. People's National Bank, member FDIC. Non-usage fees may apply. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school, but with work and family. I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to. and They're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's it like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology and it looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our jobs for once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The Red Lake College Halftime Show starts now. 
And welcome back here at the Half Oaks High School side of the second annual Coaches versus Cancer Step. The Waldenville Spartans a big 30-18 lead over Christ Star Rock Luther. This is their RLC halftime. Rimley College has been the vehicle to a brighter future for over 40 years. Students can choose from over 100 degree and certificate programs, save thousands of dollars at Rimley College, and get to work. Rimley College, it's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. We'll have your stats and scoring coming up. Also, a scoreboard update. We'll go ahead and get to that now. No, we won't. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. Here on the Rimley College halftime show, the Waldenville Spartans 30. Price our Rock Silver Stallions 18 at the break. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Warm up to the holiday savings at Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Newell Furniture has new lazy boy recliners, glide rockers, TV consoles, Paula B, and more. All holiday sale price with free financing available. Plus, buy one, get one half price on all your favorites at the General Store. Merry Christmas from Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Wolves is everyone's favorite Santa. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, Call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. And welcome back to Odin High School's second annual Coaches versus Cancer Shootout. The Waldenville Spartans at the half have a 30 to 18 lead over Christ Our Rock Lutheran High School, the Silver Stallions. We have a scoreboard update real quick. We'll give you some we haven't given you yet. At the half, Centralia leads Mascuta 18 15. Also at the half, Benson leads. Frankfurt 35 to 9. And we can't forget earlier today at Waltonville High School, the Lady Red Devils defeated Hampville 42 to 33. Scoreboard update presented by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance, who are dedicated to helping you get the right coverage with the discounts you deserve. Give Scott Owens a call at 242 3770. Like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. Jeff Crow alongside. I'm Chris Hugo. Danny Zerwinski on assignment tonight. Let's take a look at the scoring the stats. Okay, Chris, start off the scoring. Christian Berger, four quarters for Cross Rock Luther, and has seven points. One for Ben Matchoff, six points for Tyler Burbester, four points for Hayden Cockingay, and one point for Ward Agan. They shot four of 14 from two point range for 28%, three of nine for three point, which is seven to 23 from the field in the first half for 30%. Two of four from the field had nine turnovers there in the first half. And a total of eight rebounds. They have three guys with two apiece, and that's Turner, Burmester, Clark and Gay, all with three. That brings up their 18 points here in the first half. For the Waltonville Spartans, Chris, leading the way, they have two people leading the way for them. Jordan Hale and Trey Widges, both with 11 points apiece. Three points by Jake Cups, three by Patrick Fusta, and two by Levi Laird. They shot 10 of 19 from two point range, 52%, three or four from three point to 75%, one of six from the free throw line for 16%, which is 13 of 23 from the field for 56% shooting there in the first half. Seven first half turnovers, but they end up having 14 rebounds, five apiece by Jordan Hale and Trey Witches. They're controlling the boards, which brings us here, Chris, to our halftime score of the Waltonville Spartans 30. The Cars are Rock Luther and Silver Stallion, 18. Rimley College can save you thousands of dollars on your education. Visit your personal counselor at rlc.edu. See which of the more than 100 degree and certificate programs is right for you. Rimley College, it's time. We'll take a break. Come back. More RLC halftime show. Your halftime score here for Moden. The Longo Spartans, 30. The Christ Down Rock Luther and High School Silver Stallions, 18. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIS. On November 5th, Community First Bank and the First State Bank of Dix officially partnered to better serve our customers and our community. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. We welcome all our new friends to the Community First family. And I'd like to personally invite you to call, log in, or drop by any of our five locations to learn more about Jefferson County's only true, locally owned community bank. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Visit Jefferson County State Farm agent Scott Owens at 1810 Broadway and Mount Vernon for a free discount double check. Discounts may vary state to state. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at 94Sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX. And welcome back to the Red Lake Dodge Halftime Show. Red Lake Dodge has been the vehicle to a brighter future for over 40 years. Students can choose from more than 100 degree and certificate programs, save thousands of dollars at Red Lake College, and get to work. Another scoreboard update real quick at the half. Gorville leads Carterville 20 to 12. Of course, Carterville lost earlier in the week to Johnson City. So we'll see how the Black Diamond Conference race shapes up after some more games get in tonight. You can catch the bus scoreboard updates on Twitter at 94 Sports. Like us on Facebook, WYX Sports. We are doing our best to keep up with all of the all of the updates coming in tonight. Scoreboard updates, of course, presented by Scott Owens of State Farm Mission. So I'm still curious, who is going to be the Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game? That will come your way in the post-game show. And a kid making a case to the straight with us. Yeah, I'll tell you which it is. I'll tell you somebody who's right behind him also is going to be Jordan Hale. That's that, too. The second half is going to prove to see who's going to pull out that. That's the chance of being that for the yeah, play of the game. Spartans nearly turn it over as they go far to near. Eight seconds into the first. Excuse me. Second half. Rappel took a basketball in front of the scorer's table. Looks to go to front court. May have to go back. That's so to Jake Phillips. 30 to 18 is the Spartan lead here against Christ on a rock at the Coaches versus Cancer Shootout on the second annual. Right wing to Phillips, looks around, finds Rapp. Inside to Hale, turn around, no good. They'll fight for the rebound. It'll be Widges that comes away with it. He's trying to turn in. There was a hook there, but there's going to be a carry on Widges instead. Turnover Spartans. It'll be Christ on rock basketball with 7:34 to play in this third quarter. Still 30 to 18 Spartans. Yeah, so just a nice move inside by Hale. Just could connect. We're just getting the rebound, but not able to do anything with it. Coming around, it is Christian Turner. Between the circles now, 7-19, play in the third. Up 12 are the Spartans. Turner back with it right of the circle. Looks around, trying to find clock and game. Saves it just inside the sideline. Vermette to recover. Pulls up. Ooh, dangerous pass to clock and game. His jumper's no good along the baseline. Right in front of us, left side. No good. The rebound to Widges. Here comes the spot. Back to back rebound for Trey Widges. Doing a great job tonight, that's for sure. Rap with it right wing. 6.50 to play in the third. 12 point lead. Rap with it inside. Turnaround for almost an assist by Phil. Hail a great rebound. Six back there, and it's 32 18. Spartans up 14 now. Hale says, I'll tell you what, there, Trey. I'm going to go ahead and battle it with you to see who's going to be player of the game today. Well, that's no kidding. Left side on for a long deuce. It rocks the rim. No good. Put back by Cotton Gage. Way off the mark. Rebound by Hale. So another defensive rebound by the Spartans. And here they go. Rap underneath ball. Well, can't get the layup. Rebound to Turner. Here come the Stallion. 6-14 to play. Length of four. Ty is that like Christian Turner makes it a 32-20 game. Back with the 12 at the Stallion. I was trying to get things under control, trying to get their defense picked up a little bit because they can't get back in this. Night play by number 22, Jake Phillips. Go baseline left side, working off of the right block. Extinct lead back to 14, 34-20 Spartans, just for their sixth to play in the third. Really hard to believe by looking at this small little Spartan team to, to, to think it could be 0-6. That is no kidding. Turner with it on right wing. Looks through the corner. Clock and gain inside for Hahn off the block. Turn around off. Hale is good. It's 34-22. And the offense continues here in the third. Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. Coming at you in the postgame show. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. Up top is Hale. Looking right side. Catcher. to the clock and game. And on. He'll have a break. Look up. Good. And Spartans put a timeout as they let it get back to 10, 34-24. Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow alongside 5-11 to play in the third. Danny Zawinski, of course, on assignment tonight. And the Spartans, who once up 14, now back to 10. But, Jeff, I think the thing is, is that it's just a, 
all offense, not a lot of defense here in this third quarter. I think Coach Harper wants to time out to kind of settle his crew down. Yeah, I think that right now, Chad Harper's seen something that we've seen. The Waltville sort of uh, letting up a little bit, not quite as far and as quick as what they were the first half. On the other hand, Carter Rock Luther has picked it up a notch, kept their the offense up, and starting to make a run at it. You knew the Carter Rock with the record they had was not so laid back and, you know, be this kind of a team to get beat by double digits. They'll come back into it sometime, and they got that together after the halftime discussion. We'll see how it goes out of timeout. Spartan basketball front court. It'll be Hale coming around the wing, kicks out to Phillips. He'll drive baseline. Great play by Phillips. He's fouling his way up. And Phillips will go to the line to shoot two. First foul of the half comes at 4.55 to go in the third. First team foul, of course, obviously on Christ our Rock, and it'll happen to go upon number 24, Kyle Hahn, in the second. Yep. Great Phillips sitting there now, Chris. He's old for three from the free throw line. Atypical. He's a follow through on that little bit. See if he can turn it into 11. It rims out. No good. Rebound will go to number 23, Egan. And here come the Stallions. Right of the circle. 451 to play. Almost a tip by Hill. Works back to Turner. Three for Burmester. Come in. It's good. And back within seven are the Stallions. 34 27. Burmester is three for five for three point range. In fact, that's where all nine of his points has come from. Now we will have a whistle on the other end. It'll be on Christian Turner. Second team foul for the Stallions. First on Turner. 4.33 to play at the third quarter. It's 34 27. Starting saying it off. Which is off of the inbound backside. Comes around. Shot's too strong. Rebound will go to Christ Star Rock. And they're looking to mount a comeback here. It's it, but it goes back door to Hagen. Eight foul to count it. The Spartans just can't get back on defense, and they have what the Stallions five than five could be four, and Hagen can make the free throw. That's something we've seen uh, last night, Chris, with uh, the Rams game that we that we was watching. Mount Vernon would get back quick enough on defense. And that's something that we see Walton's not out doing. Rebound off of the end one will go to Rogers, and here comes the Spartans midway through the third, thirty-four twenty-nine. It's a five-point ball game. Tom has it left wing into the front court. 4-12 to play. Into the corner now for Phillips. He'll step up wing and now come up top. Rogers will kick out the widgets up top. Tried to drive in and had to kick out once he met traffic. Tom with the right side, able to find right elbow. There is Phillips looking back door. Widgets across the lane, no good. So no advice shots coming from the Spartans. They're up five with 3 to play. This lead continues to dissipate. Great move by Aiken Block from behind a covering pocket game good. And now it is a one possession ball game, 34-31. Pocket game goes off the right block and gets to the bucket. And with 3.30 to play in the third, not looking good. But a lead ahead, great pass there and a flop. Rogers can get the bucket, but he'll go to the line to shoot too. They're going to be up there to call of this little blocking foul. Nice call there by Spanky Smith. Parker Gay picked up his second foul. Thirteen foul. At the line, of course, is Jake Phillips. Make his first. In fact, it was two possession game, 35-31. 3.32 to play in this third quarter. With locations in Dix, Woodlawn, Ina, and two branches in Mount Vernon, Greedy First Bank is proud to be the official voice of the Dix County Basketball Showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member of FDIC. I see Jake Phillips connect on the second one also. Rains the ball, just back to a five-point lead, but here comes Permester. Shakes the defender, throws it the shot, it's good. Just inside the free-throw line, the lead back to three, it's 36-33. A little move there in the paint by Burmester. Now Phillips leans in, throws the ball away underneath, turn over to Spartan. And now possibly a chance for Christ to rock the side. It'll be Turner. With it up to us to the right, now drives in the lane. Great play to the basket, and he fouls. Turner switches hands, goes underhanded, brings it back within one, draws the foul, and tie it here with 301 to play in the third. A little bit more of a bounce in the set by Cross Sherlock. So we didn't really see the first half, Chris. And we're tied. Free throws good, and one. 36 36, three minutes to play in the third. Cards have played way too well to give it up now in the third quarter. Phillips with the basketball left side, finds Graff in the wing. Looks for Widgets, now goes free throw line, Hale. 
Kicks it out to Zom. Zom on the right wing. Looks around. Finds Widges up top. 2-4-5 to go in the third. Widges. Only be called for an offensive foul. That'll be a turnover on the Spartans. That's going to be the second foul on Trey Widges also. Man, oh, man. It's just everything was going right the first half. is now turned around the other way for Waltonville. The passes aren't as crisp. Of course, a lot of that is up out with Tristar Rock picked up man defense. Waltonville just needs to settle down, get back in the game. We're doing the first half. 2.36 to go in the third. Turner with the basketball. Left-hand dribble for the Stallion. Looks around, finds Furmester with it far from the wing. Gets the clock in game. And we'll have an offensive foul this time. On number 24 for Mr. Kyle Hawn. That'll be another turnover on the Stallion. Back-to-back fouls on number 24s. That's going to be... Spartans will trigger length of the floor 227 to go here in the third. Late substitution allowed by Bob Smith. And here we go. Which is off the inbound. will bring it across more than likely. 220 for play in the third. Glad to have you with us on my X online at MyWithersRadio.com for the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. Hale with it up top. Shakes to the elbow right side. Underneath finds Widges looking to lean in. Draws contact. Won't get the hoop. It rattles off. And now Trey Widges will have some very big free throws to sink here if they want to regain the lead. That foul, I believe, will be on Ward Egan. This will be his second, Chris. Team fifth. Yeah, and Widges going to have to get things going for these uh, Walt Spartans. Let's knock down these free throws. First one is good for Widges. Unlocks the side. 37-36 Spartans. About two and change to play here in the third. Quick scoreboard update. Centralia Orphans took a 27-19 lead over Mascuda in the third quarter. And the second free throw is no good by Widges. Rebound for a match. Up ahead. Here comes Hagen. Looks to the right. I will try and lean in. Triple team. Throws an underhanded lip. No good. Rebound clock and gauge. Strip on the way up, but it's a foul on Hale. And that'll be the team's fourth. Four board updates presented by Scott Owens of State Farm Insurance. We're dedicated to helping you get the right coverage for the discounts you deserve. Give Scott Owens a call at 242 3770. Like a good neighbor, State Farm Agent Scott Owens is there. First time in line for Mr. Boston Gay. Let's see if he can knock these down. He will miss the first. So the best he can do is tie with the second. You will one to play in the third. Clocking gate the line, shooting the back end of a two shot assessment. Went up and was stripped by Ale. He picked up foul number two. Just the fourth for the Spartans. Clocking gate shooting the second. It's good. We're tied at 37. Spartans lead with 14 at one point in the second half. Now we'll tie. Certainly hate to see that. If you're a showcase fan, if you're a rock fan, you're loving it right now. Laird coming around the right wing, free throw line, kicks it up. Rogers, his runner across the lane. It's going. The Spartans need more Rogers. It's 39-37 with 1.42 to go in this third quarter. Right in the circle, Agan looks around, finds Turner. That'll be a turnover. The over and back. So Spartans get a break there. Turnover on Christ Our Rock and a chance to have this two-point lead with 93 seconds to go. Uh, you're going to see number 12 and Mashoff come back in the game. He's going to re- he's going to take the spot of number 23, Ward Egan. Right in the circle, it's Widges. Hands off to Hale. He's going to try to cross over the lane. Jump stop, throws it up, no good. Rebound, nobody there for the Spartans. However, it is thrown. Oh, I thought. Tries to rock through it away, but it was last touched by Hale. It will be Italian basketball. Backcourt inbound will come side out of bounds near the scores table. 19 to go in the third. Two point lead for Waltonville. Here comes Christ our Rock. Mashoff looks to the far side, able to find Bain. He looks inside for a metric, kicks over to the baseline, clocking gate for the tie, no good. Hill another rebound. And Jordan Hale has been worth his weight in gold tonight on the defensive glass. He's had a total of eight rebounds total. And a turnaround by Raff underneath. Credit the assist to Trey Widges, 41-37. It's a two-possession ball game. We'll build on top with 50 to play in the third. Spartans need this win here tonight. Far wing, it is Mashoff back to the timeline for Turner. Turner, Mashoff, Clock and Gay, Bainey, and Burmester here for the Stallions. It's Hale, Rogers, Raff. Widges and Laird for Waltonville. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. 41-37. 
Well, Bill on top, Turner with it, right side, left timeline, rather. Yeah, he's that mirror image in your brain. Doesn't work out all the time. Clock and Gay with it, right timeline. Now kicks back to Turner. He'll come around up top and run around the perimeter, basically, as he's back to the left of the circle with 12 seconds. Far sideline, the mash off. It'll be thrown out of bounds. Paul Hill basketball. Watch out, Jay Miller. And with 8.8 .8 seconds to go, it'll be a length before trigger here for Levi Rapp. Or excuse me. Yes, yeah, Levi Rapp. Yep, Levi. Get it into Trey Wedges. A lot of Levi's over time in Waltonville. 8.8 .8 seconds to go. Wedges with it at the timeline. No call on the reach in. He'll get a back throw across the way to Laird with three. Just up with two off the top to phase three. No good. Rebound. Will be out of bounds. 41-37, Waltonville after three. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Warm up to the holiday savings at Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodline. Newell Furniture has new Lazy Boy recliners, slide rockers, TV consoles, Paula D, and more. All holiday sale price with free financing available. Plus buy one, get one half price on all your favorites at the General Store. Merry Christmas from Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodline. Newell's is everyone's favorite Santa. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, Call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. And welcome back to Oden High School for the Coaches versus Cancer Shoot. Burmester off of the inbound. Comes right side. No good. Rebound will be tipped away. Spartans, meanwhile, have a 41 37 lead. Burmester with it on the wing. Kicks around up top. Bash off. Back to Burmester for three. It'd be huge. And it rattles the top of the backboard. It'll be out of bounds. Waltonville basketball. I'll credit the team rebound to the Spartans. And away we go. 7.38 to play in regulations. A four-point lead from the guys from southwestern Jefferson County. Here on the showcase, presented by Community First Bank. You've got a number of credits for Community First Bank. You're a person or business with needs. And through the good and the bad, Community First will stand by you. As the Spartans dribble off their foot out of bounds, right sideline. It'll go back to Price Star Rock. Chad Harper wants to argue with Brett Garrison. I think Chad Harper has a point. Came off, yeah, we just had the ball, came off his leg first, and bounced up another Waltonville guy. I figured it maybe what's called a kickball. Ah, so I may not have seen it correctly. So round up top, Mashaw throws left side for Turner. He'll drive, took an extra step. Does anybody see it? No, they just called the foul. So to the line will be Turner. We have 7.13 to play in the fourth, trying to get this back within a two-point game. Jordan Hill picked up his third foul, Chris. Fourth team foul. Christian Turner goes to line for the first time tonight. We'll see how he fares. Lefty throws up. No good. You gotta, you're Chad Harp, you gotta sit back and try to get your guys back under control. Because you had things going your way the first half. Thanks for a slow start to second. No good for the second for Turner. So no. Oh, for two, that trip for one, I guess would be the easiest way to present that verbally. It was 7.06 to play in the ball game. 41-37, your score. Spawns up four. Up top, it was Phillips. Kicks back for Hale. Nice kick out to just to avoid the walk. He'll drive baseline. He'll drive good. Off the right block. Maverick comes up big again. 43-37. And Widges adds two more to his tally. Yeah, he's put his name back in front of the top for a play of the game, Chris. Turner looking near his side. Finds clock again. He'll drive it. Uses the window. It's good. And back within four. The Stallions, they will not. Slide away into the sunset. Hockingay doesn't have a lot of points, but what he's done out there has been amazing because he's, he's done rebounding, he's done on the defensive side. They leave it back door for Rapp. One away for Hale to get the assist, and Rapp gets two more, 45-39. We'll see if the Spartans can contain this trip down the floor, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer. 30-second timeout called by Christ Our Rock. 6.20 to play in the fourth quarter, 45-39 is the Spartan lead. Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow in the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. That is, of course, presented by Community First Bank. Community First Bank with more Jefferson County locations than anyone else. Locally owned with decisions made here, proud supporters of Jefferson County. The locations in Dick, Ina, Woodlawn, and two branches. It's Mount Vernon. 
pretty choppy third and fourth quarter for the Spartans, but they're finally kind of coming out of that slump they had late in the third. Get that lead back up six. I think they come out of what they do is they come out at the end of the half, almost after the halftime, being up 13-18. That 12-point lead was looking good to them. They came out just a little bit lackluster, not quite as crisp as they were the first half. It's taken them you know, about a half a quarter a little bit more to get things under control. Now things I think are still under control for them. 45-39, Spartan. Ooh, almost forced a turnover. He get lost out of bounds. Last touch by Hale. So Grice, our rock, will have it for their own pitch. 6-13 to play in the fourth. Six-point game. Walton on top, 45-39. It'll be Hagan to trigger again. Looks for Turner. Finds him in the backcourt near the circle. 6 foot five in the play. Phillips all over Turner. And defense for the Spartans. Widges almost got the steal. Tipped it out of his hands to Ward Hagan. And it'll be Hagan to trigger again for the Stallion. Side out of bounds. Defense is picked up for Waltonville again. This is what we see in the first half. That's what helped them build that 12-point lead. And now the Spartans just were forcing all kinds of issues with the Stallions. They try to get it in. Honnell trigger. Finds near the timeline in the far corner. He got six to play in the fourth. 45-39 Spartans. Far side. There we go. Up top with the now Burmester. Looks around. Fane to throw. Keeps it up top. There's off to the right arc. Gets now to Hagan. Matched up against Wedges. He'll drive. Uses the glass and it's good. Able to switch chance to do the underhanded layup. It's 45-41. Back within four of the stallion. Not one of the taller players out there, Chris, but he can control his body when he gets up the air. That could be an understatement. Over there on the right side is Wedges. Very good athlete. So is Wedges. Of course, he throws up top. Rogers back to the right wing. Hail a big three. It goes. It's good. And back on top by seven of the Spartans. 48-41. Oh, the second three put up by Hale. It's connected on both of them. Near Barber's line, rather. It is blocking gay, and it's saving a beauty by Hale out of bounds. It will reset the Stallions here, side of the bounds, far sideline, from their own bench. It was 5 11 to go in the fourth quarter. The lead is 7 for Waltonville, 48 41. Trigger will go to Turner there in the far corner. Matched up against Phillips. He'll drive. Kicks it out. A wide open Burmester. He almost pulled the basketball. Our side, here we go. On to the ball, it's picked away by Rogers. Contact, but no foul, and a great recovery there by Phillips. He hangs on the backboard. He'll bring it across with the left hand. Now, left hand dribble. Switch to his right for a moment. Left of the circle it is Hale. Back up top, Rogers, the basketball. We'll have a timeout, Harper. Probably a good call there to get yeah. timeout. He's a little bit shaky out there. Just got to that uh, possession. Chad Harper's seen that, so let's call a timeout and get things uh, ironed out a little bit. Definitely a good time there. Who will be your Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game? Stay tuned. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. 48-41 Spartans. 4-44 to play in the fourth. Triple fours plus the quarter mark. 48-41 again is their lead. They'll have possession coming out of the Spartan timeout. Pardon me for a second. Try not to cough here. Carolina Cole. And there we go. So we're recovered here. Jeff, if you're Chad Harper here, I think it's a great time to draw off the play, try to get you up maybe double digits, and then you might feel a little bit comfortable, especially if you nail that three to make it happen. Yeah, because things right now are going your way. You've got your defense back under control. You're starting to score a little bit more. Like you said, what a big confidence builder it would be to be able to go up by double digit lead here with 444 left in the fourth quarter. I don't think this is going to be for Waltonville. If they were able to hold on to this lead, this is going to be a huge confidence builder for this Waltonville Spartans. Get that big win at the right side. Of course, the big win can never come too late. Coming right side. That's a quick foul of the Silver Stallions. And Phillips is looking to go right sideline for Widges. I think it's going to be on Hagen. Yeah, it's going to be on Ward Hagen. It's going to be his third foul. Team six. There was a little confusion on that, whether or not it was going to be one of bonus. I know I was confused there for a moment. Well, it's six foul, though, on Presser Rock. In battle, go to Rap right arc. Looks around, finds Hale up top. Great save there, almost thrown away by the Spartan Phillips recovers. 429 to play in the fourth quarter, 48-41, your score. Spartans on top here in the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. We near the top of the hour. We'll take care of that. A little bit later, smoked away from Wedges by Christian Turner, and now... Somebody will have to trigger in front of the Waltonville bench, side out of bounds. Who will it be? 
It'll be Levi Raff. He'll work it in. Looking across the way for a backdoor lob for Hale to be pulled away. Long opportunity by the Spartans. Here comes on. Throws back to for Hagen. He'll turn around, throw it up, gets the rim rocker. It's 48-43, the lead down to five for Waltonville. Right now, Waltonville needs to come down. He needs to score this time down the floor for us and get this game back under control. Phillips throws right wing, or uh, right sideline, rather. Four wedges. Raft looks inside, finds Rogers. Gets towards the side, he gets the bucket. Great play by Matt Rogers, and that'll put the Spartans up 50-43 with an and-one coming. 52 to play in the fourth, and a great play by Mr. Rogers. Must have been in his neighborhood. Good way to use that. Yeah, that'll, that'll be, be the one and only time I do. Jeffy Hagen's fourth foul, team seventh, and he took the abuse on that one, but he connected. No good in the free throw. Rogers darn near got the rebound. Burmeister with it ahead. Finds Turner. Christian Turner with it at the wing near side. 3.44 play in regulation, 50.43 the score. Spartans are up a touchdown. Turner, a left hand dribble, going to roll back to the circle. 335 to go. Now finds Egan. Egan looks around, has it poked away by Wedges. They almost got it that time. But the jersey side prevented him from getting it out of bounds. Hunter a rock not take his basketball right now, Chris. The ball field's able to knock out their hands, cause them all kinds of havoc. We have a big State Farm scoreboard update coming your way in the Central Automotive Post Game Show. Burmeister in the lane has to kick out Turner right wing. Well, terrain, rather. Whichever way you prefer. We're looking to live upon the stage, from the stage. I wish I could stop the geographical references altogether right now. It's thrown out of bounds by the Stallions. Turnover, Christ our rock. And length of the floor to go here for Walton. So, the bad pass going down, trying to go down below. Another turnover. Still brings us to six for this half. 15th for the ball game. Right wing is Rogers, three to play at the fourth. 50 43, seven point lead for Waltonville here in the open shootout. And Chad Harper wants a timeout. Wise timeout there rather than risk the turnover. 256 to play in the ball game. 50 43 is a Spartan lead. Come start a banking relationship at Community First Bank. You won't be disappointed. Community First Bank is a heartland. Welcome back to personal banking with locations of Ina, Dix, Lawn, and two branches. You get this in Mount Vernon. 2.56 to go here. Waltonville timeout. They're up seven. They'll have possession. Up 14 at one point. Almost tied at this point. Able to get it back up by seven. So the Spartans really want this first one of the year. Yes, they are. Yes, they do, Chris. What a good way to do it to right now. And what a great time to do it. I mean, you still got to get your first win now. Still got plenty of season. It's a confidence builder to get these guys going on the winning side. Let's see what they can create after a slow start so far for this season. It is the top down. Pause for station identification. This is the showcase. Streaming worldwide on MyWithersRadio.com. This is 94.1 FM WMIX, Mount Vernon, Marion, Effingham. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. There you go. Chris Hugo, Jeff Crow, Danny Zerwinski on assignment tonight. Waltville Spartans lead the current Star Rock Silver Stallions 50-43 here from Oat. Inbound will go to the left side of Hale between the circles. Right wing we go to Widges. Back to Raff, left of the circle. He looks in, finds Rogers. Nearly had it picked away on a sloppy pass. Rogers recovers somehow, then had it stripped away from behind. Raff looking at the turnover, kick the ball, no call. Rebound to Widges. Horrible play by both sides here, and then lost out of bounds by Crystal Rock. So how this play develops, Rogers lost in the lane after he was pretty well tackled. It was recovered by Chrysler Rock. They lose it. Kick saved by Waltville. Widges recovers. Throws a floppy pass to the right side. Waltville turns it over again. And then Chrysler Rock can't handle the possession coming up the sideline. So it's back to Waltonville basketball. Into Widges, right side. Finds the seam. And that'll be a blocking foul on Chrysler Rock. Widges to the line to shoot two. And I believe that's going to be the fifth foul on Mr. Ward Egan. He's about to take a seat after having two for six, eight points. Or Ward Egan. Interesting stuff. He came off the bench and they would pull out those eight points. He was a big help for this Carter Rock Luther team. Tough to get back in this game. Wages is alive, shooting two. His first is good. No, well, one and bonus. They didn't give him credit for the shot. My apologies. I thought I saw the official hold of two fingers. So he gets the bonus now. Spartans up eight. We'll see the reemergence of Patrick Booza as Matt Rogers will take a seat. Uh, Rogers done a good job out there. So tonight, Chris. 
Yes, he has. Seca will drop back iron. Rebound to Hale. Turn around his block, and it's recovered by the Stallions. That was Clock and Gig. Now up ahead, Christian Turner. Lay up off the block and score. Team around to the far side. And it's back to a six point ball game, 51 45. Walt completely to the lead as we approach the two minute mark of the quarter. Last score updates coming your way in the Setzer Automotive Post Game Show, plus the final stats and the crossroads for the Oscar player of the game. Rap throws up from the free throw line. No good. Off the right iron. And the rebound fell to Hahn back door, and here comes Mashaw. Turner with it up top, trying to get to the lane. There's a foul. That foul will be six on Waltonville. It should be the second on Jake Phillips. Get that, if I see it right. Give the team six. We'll bring Matt Rogers back in. Well, yes, first coming your way in the post game. 148 to play in the fourth. Turner with it, throws left side. Bound by Meister in the corner. Here we go. Hahn with the basketball up top. Turner with 141 to play. Spartan lead is 6, 51-45. Turner backs up to the volleyball line between the circles now. Throws left side. Found Hahn. No, that's Hahn with it up top. That was Nashua. Hahn kicks out from the elbow. Fine. Pocket gate. Baseline. No way for the D to clear. Throws it up too strong. It's an air ball. Rebound wrap, and here come the Spartans. Another defensive rebound for Waltonville. And they're hanging on to the six-point lead as we approach the mid mark. We're at Speedy First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Location tonight at Dix, Woodlawn, and two in Mount Vernon. There's some five in Jefferson County more than anyone else. We'll finally have a foul. It'll be on Trey Wedges. Turner picks up another one. 19 foul. And Scott. 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 There you go. Trey goes to the line to shoot one and one. Go ahead and say, Rivers. That's going to be the second foul on Christian Turner. 19 foul. Time out. Right, good time for the timeout. Talk it over. The Orphans pick up a win tonight. We'll tell you, we'll have that final score for you. Oakville beats Stryker. We'll have that final for you. Benson beats West Frankfurt. We'll have that final for you. All kinds of basketball action all going on throughout the area. There's a lot. There's no doubt about that. Have those scores coming up at the Setzer Auto Body post game show. Setzer Auto Body is approved by most insurance companies. This means Setzer Auto Body gets your vehicle back on the road faster. Next time you have a collision, see the collision pros at Setzer Auto Body, 602 South Park Street in Setzer. We'll talk about the end result of this game and hopefully, I should be biased even though this is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, but it would be nice to see the Spartans get win number one. It really would. Because a Spartan team that goes hot would make a Cesar Valier holiday tournament very interesting. Widges makes the first, he's the second coming, 52 45. Because I'm always game to try to see a Woodlawn Waltville final in anything. And with the postseason assignment, how sweet it would be to finally get that Woodlawn Waltville super. Or any of the Jefferson County basketball showcase teams, Weber Township, anybody. Here it comes, Turner with the basketball. Here let's call that on number 22. Jake Phillips is going to pick up his third foul, get a little blocking foul. One and bonus as Turner will go by. 53-45, your score. 55.6 seconds to go, fourth quarter. The Waltonville lead is eight at the moment. Could be down to six, but Turner can sink some shots. Turner looking for his first made free throw. No good. Rebound to Hale. Big rebound again by Hale. What a battle it'll be for Crossroads player of the game. It's more than hospital for health care should be. Mashoff will tip it away, trying to steal from Phillips. On the left side, he tips out of bounds with be Spartan basketball. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough battle. See who's going to get the play of the game, Crusher's play of the game. That'll come your way in the post game. Link, four to go on the inbound. Rogers finds Widget back to Rogers, and we'll have a foul. Widget will go to the line to shoot two. It'll be the double bonus for the Spartans. And they're up five. Eight. 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 That's going to be the third foul on Christian Turner. So it's been widgets to the line to shoot the two. I really like the blue coaches versus cancer shootout shirts. Yeah. Those are, those are nice. That's a nice color. Widgets first is no good. He's at the line shooting the double bonus. He'll have a second coming, and try to make the lead nine with 45 seconds to play in the fourth. Foul differential is 10 to 7. Obviously, if Wages is shooting a double bonus, 
the stallions have the tent. Or if they make those shirts, then extra, extra, extra fat for people like me. Not sure how to answer that. Wages will drain the fat so we can avoid it all together. 42, 54, 45, reciprocating scores here. As the Stallions have basketball, 42. Turner will cross the circle, throws up a three-far wing. The bank, wow, gets the bank, and it's 54, 48. Back within six are the Stallions. Wow, that one came out of nowhere. You just get the feeling it's not meant to be easy for the Spartans tonight. But that set, three games above 500 are the Stallions, 3-0 in the Egyptian Illini. But independently speaking, you think the Waltonville schedule is just a tad bit tougher playing that independent schedule. Yes, it is. And like I said, this is just something that they looked at, something they've uh, battled in and out. And uh tell you what, it actually makes them a little better when they do. To finally see the Spartans getting some games on the showcase. It was kind of difficult there for a while. With other stations having spoken for them there for other sister stations. You know what that bank that Turner, that Turner just made on that three? Yep. I heard uh, Robert W. Smith say he could have made that. Try good. Robert Smith, he's got the touch. Bob, wow, you know him. 54 48. I thought the officials was going to. I'm not going to lie, if I didn't know him, I. One unknown they were here. Yeah, one officials. Exactly. We've had a lot of good officiating this year. Last night at Mount Vernon, thought the game was well officiated. It's a very, very good job. It's tough to officiate any game, but you know, South Sedley teams are even tougher. I can barely call a game on the radio. Some will even argue the quality of that. Probably most. It'll be Rogers on the inbound. Length of four to go. Fine tail in the near corner, far corner. They gonna be a semester. I think it will, and it'll be two shots for Hale at the line, trying to extend this 54-48 lead with 35 seconds to play. Only the second foul on Mr. Burmester. Create First Bank, more Jefferson County locations than anyone else. What we own with decisions made here. They are proud supporters of Jefferson County with locations in Ina Dix, Woodlawn, and two in Mount Vernon. Glad to have them aboard as the official voice of the showcase as Hale makes his first, making a seventh point lead, 55-48. That's the first free throw. First the tip by Jordan Hale. Glad to have those of you that might have been listening to the Central Orphans or the Benton Rangers on our sister stations. 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Waltonville about to get their first one of the year up 55-48 over Christ Our Rock here at Oak. Long free from Turner, way off the mark, reap underneath matchup. Throws it back out to Turner. And on the right wing, here goes a three. On the way, it's good. 55-51, dramatic as it may be here with Goats. We've got a bounce by Turner. And Paul Dole going to keep the basketball. That was a nasty inbound that almost got tipped away. Spartans going to keep it with 14 up four. You silver stallions are not going away, Chris. Pain in the rear, you might call him. And now we'll have a quick bump foul for Turner. And with widgets, we'll go to the line to shoot too. That'll be the fourth foul of Christian Turner. And the guy that's into the line, I don't think the guy you want is Mr. Trey Widgets going to the line right now, Chris. Now with the night he's had, 13.1 seconds to go in the game, 55-51 the score, which is a blind shooting too. He makes his first, he makes it a five-point game, 56-51. Another one on the way here for, for Trey. It's going to call Maverick the rest of the way, it's easier. Iceman's gone, Maverick's with us still, and that's going to be off the mark left side. Hale, put back in good! Almost as if it was by design off the right pot, Jordan Hale. 58-51, Spartans by 7 with 6. Here comes Turner, kicks over to Burmester for a long 3, no good. Rebound switch by Hale, and the Spartans win their first of the year, 58-51, over Christ Our Rock. We'll tell you all about the Cesar Autobody Postgame Show coming up next. Hi, Roy Schmidt at King City Chrysler. When you think of the all-new Chrysler 200, the line imported from Detroit immediately comes to your mind. When it comes to character, comfort, and fuel efficiency, its capabilities extend well beyond its mid-sized shadow. This is not a style as a concept. This is design as a practice. This is the new Chrysler 200. This is a car that projects beauty beyond a footprint. Because when you build the new Chrysler 200, you have promises to keep. The all-new Chrysler 200 sedan is really an amazing automobile. Come into King City Chrysler today and receive huge cash discounts on 10 remaining 200s in stock. Or receive 0% for 72 months. We may be able to lower your existing payment and you drive a new car. 
at King City Chrysler, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where you can count on us. Do you know what your mortgage rate is? You probably know what your monthly payment is, but your interest rate can make a big difference. With rates still low, now is the perfect time to look into refinancing your current mortgage. Stop by People's National Bank at 413 South 34th Street in Mount Vernon today and ask to see me, Joy Schrader, mortgage specialist, while rates are still this low. People's National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school, but with work and family... I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to. and They're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's it like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology and it looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our jobs for once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show starts now. And welcome back to Odin as we wrap up the second annual Coaches vs. Classic Shootout. The Waltville Spartans, their first win of the year. 58-51 winners over the Christ Star Rock Loot and Silver Stallions here on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. This is your Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show. Sometimes things happen in an automobile that are beyond your control. When they do, take your vehicle to Sessor Auto Body. They can get you back on the road quicker and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor. Chris Hugo, Jeff Crow is alongside. Danny Zerwinski was on assignment tonight. We appreciate those of you who tuned in who may have listened to the Central Area Orphans or the Benton Rangers tonight as they both pick up wins. Those were heard on our sister stations, X95 and Q106, respectively. Take a look at a scoreboard update. We'll do that when we return. We need to take a quick break here on your Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show. Spartans win this one tonight, 58-51 over the Stallions. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Warm up to the holiday savings at Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Newell Furniture has new Lazy Boy recliners, glide rockers, TV consoles, Paula D, and more. All holiday sale price with free financing available. Plus, buy one, get one half price on all your favorites at the General Store. Merry Christmas from Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Newell's is everyone's favorite Santa. When it comes to bone and joint care, only one name should come to mind. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Your fellowship-trained physician's first priority is specialized orthopedic care, ranging from total joint replacement and spine surgery to shoulder surgery and sports medicine. Our surgeons provide a wide range of specialized treatments that are unparalleled anywhere in Southern Illinois. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive in Mount Vernon and St. Mary's Good Samaritans in Tampas, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. A coach house garage is money well spent On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments Don't cut corners on your garage, it adds value to your home That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs Or they'll build one to your design For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon Or go online to coachhousegarages.com More than just a garage More than just a garage It's a Coach House 
sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for. So WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. More basketball action ahead. Presented by Community First Bank. And welcome back to the Sester Auto Body Post Game Show. Sometimes things happen in an automobile if you're under your control, and when they do, take your vehicle to Sester Auto Body. They can get you on the road quicker and in showroom condition. Sester Auto Body, 602 South Park Street in Sester. Spartans win this with a night, 58 51 over Christ Our Rock. The shootout, coaches versus cancer shootout, second annual. Of course, we have a comprehensive scoreboard update to pass along. Earlier today at Walton High School, the Central Lair Waltonville Lady Red Devils defeat Hamilton County 42-33. You heard that on AM 940. At the Conrad Allen today, Sydney beat Clay City 62-37. There's Crab Orchard over Grayville 82-40. Edwards County defeats Sigler Royalton 73-58. There's Wayne City over Thompsonville 43-24. At the Saluki Shootout today, all games but one have completed again. <laughs> Be the easiest way to say that. Carmel's girls defeat Marion 57-27 in Bulls action in the South 7 Conference game as well. Marion defeats Carbondale 59-55. The Nashville Hornets defeat the Benton Rangerettes 55-24. Jabot hands Nashville a 53-43 loss. It was Pinckneyville defeating Monticello 55-44. And Oakville 10 better than Trico. Wow. 63-53. Regular season action tonight elsewhere. Girls action. Kenoki defeats Centralia 49-47. Centralia defeated Cahokia. I need to write that down. I haven't yet. It looks like the final score in that one at the CHS Arena, a game you heard on Sister Station X95, was a final of 35-23. to 23. So Centralia wins that one. Benton defeats West Frankfurt in a rivalry contest in the Ohio Division Knights, 52-30. And Goreville defeats Carterville, 57-43. to 43. This final here was 58-51. The Waltonville Spartans defeat the Crux. Right, our Rock Luther and Silver Stallions. Also in this shootout today, Metro East Luther defeats Potoka 66-42. It was Ramsey over Odin 60-46. Sandoval's girls defeat Christ our Rock Luther 53-50. Sandoval's JV girls defeat Christ our Rock's JV 27-20. And in the junior high game from this shootout, North Walmack Irvington Co-op defeats Odin's junior high 45-36. Scoreboard update presented by Scott Owens. You might be paying too much for auto insurance. Just got on the call for a free discount double check like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. That was your scoreboard update. As comprehensive as it may have been, Danny Zerwinski will post a main feature scoreboard update to our Facebook page later tonight. Like us on Twitter if you want. Hey, let's start with that. Like us on Facebook if you want. WMIX Force or follow us on Twitter at 94 Sports. Time for the story and the stats. Here's Jeff Crow. Okay, start off for Cox or Ark Lutheran. It was Christian Turner. He had a total of 16 points tonight. One point by Ben, ben Mashoff. 11 points by Tyler Burmester. 7 points by Kyle Hahn. Uh, 8 points by Peyton Hawkingay. And 8 points also by Ward Aiken. The Chrysler Rock Lutheran shot 15 of 31 from two point range for the game for 48%. 6 of 16 from three point range for 37%. For free throw range, they were 2 of 7 in the second half, 4 of 11 for the game for 36%. They matched their first half turnovers. They had 9 first, 9 second for 18 turnovers for the ball game. A total of 23 rebounds overall for the game. In a way, for in rebounding was Hayden Clark gave with 8. He was followed on by Tyler Burmester, who had 5. And that is the 51 points that Chrysler Rock Lutheran had. For the ball game. Now for the Waltonville Spartans. Waltonville Spartans led by two guys. It was Jordan Hale and Trey Widges, both with 19 points. They was followed. Jake Phillips had seven. Four by Levi Rapp. Four by Matt Rogers. Three by Patrick Buza. And two points by Levi Laird. The Waltonville Spartans. They shot 7 16 from two point range in the second half. 17 and 35 for the ball game for 48%. Shot one or two from three point range in the second half, four or six for the ball game for 66%. Nine of 16 from the free throw line 
in the second half. 10 of 22 for the game for 45% shooting from the line. Had eight second half turnovers go along with their seven first half for 15 turnovers. They had a total of 12 second half rebounds to go along with their 14 first half, 26 total rebounds. Leading the way in rebounding was Jordan Hale, who had 12. Trent Widges had seven, and followed along by Matt Rogers, who had three, which brought us to our final score here, Chris. So the Walt Will Spartans, 58. Rockstar Rock Luther, 51. There you have it. Those are your stats here on the Cesar Automatic Post Game Show. Again, 15 51, your final. The Spartans win here tonight. We'll come back to your Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game here on the Cesar Automatic Post Game Show. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Whether you're an Integra customer needing a new home or just tired of the constant changes associated with big corporate banking, you do have a choice. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. We built our business around one goal, your needs. With five locations and a team of your friends and neighbors to support you, your banking solutions are handled right here at home. And to make your move easy, we have new account specials and personal bankers ready to help. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com, presented by Community First Bank. And welcome back to Odin High School, final segment of the Cesar Automati Post Game Show. Time now for your Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game, or should we say players. Promo's going to be tough enough as it is this week, of course, so we might as well make it as grand as we possibly can. I think we have to do co-players of the game tonight. I totally agree, Chris, because both these guys had 19 points. Um, Trey, Trey Wiggins went 7-11 from the free throw line, but the other thing was was Jordan Hale, who was the other one, he had to do with 19 points, but he had 12 big boards, which was huge for these Waltonville Spartans. So, as you said, Crossroads Community Hospital players of the, players of the game will be Jordan Hale and Trey Wiggins. They combined for 38 points and 19 rebounds here tonight in this win by the Waltonville Spartans. 58-51, your final. The Spartans improved 1-6 and six on the year. Christ, our rock falls to 6-4. and four. And that's going to do it for us tonight. Our next showcase broadcast will be Monday at the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament as the Weber Trojans take on Ziegler Royalton. 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock tip-off right here on WMIS. Next Lady Rams broadcast will be Tuesday night on AM 940 as they take on the Carbondale Lady Terriers with video on MyWithersRadio.com. Then, of course, our next Rams broadcast will be on Friday night as they travel to Cahokia, 94.1 FM, video online at MyWithersRadio.com. That's to do it for us tonight. Waltonville Spartans get a big win here on the neutral floor at Odin against Tristar Rock here in the Coaches versus Cancer shootout. We want to thank, of course, Brian Martin, the athletic director here at Odin, and all the staff at Odin High School who took very hospitable care of us tonight. We could not have done it without them. We certainly appreciate that. Brian Martin, of course, Coach Finkbold, and everybody here at Odin really taking care of us tonight. We certainly appreciate their help. And, of course, he would walk up right after I get done talking about him. But he'll just have to trust that I did talk about him on the air. Brian Martin, of course, a very good AD in this Odin School District. That said, that's going to do it for us tonight. Jeff Grove, for Avery Barton, back in the studio, for everyone. At Withers Broadcasting, thank you for listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. I'm Chris Hugo, reminding you of the final score, the Waltonville Spartans 58, Christ Our Rock 51. Good night from Marion County. Thank you for listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, sponsored by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body, Newell Furniture, and the General Store in Woodlawn, Ren Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu and by Coach House Garages, Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, State Farm Agent. 
with Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. For inside information before, during, and after the game, follow us on Twitter at 94sports or like WMIX Sports on Facebook. We are your home for news, talk, sports, and today's hot country. WMIX.